Good morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever time of the day that is. I hope you're doing well. I'm Emily and if you're new to my channel, this is a lifestyle channel. It's a healthy living channel where I share tips and tricks on how to live healthier. Also about veganism, nutrition, sustainability. And this video is totally out of what I do usually. But I also want this channel to become a bit more personal so that people can get to know me better. And this video is kind of the first step to that because I'm really going out of my comfort zone. So I really appreciate your support in this. It's a bit uncomfortable for me. You've obviously seen the title. I'm going to teach you how to belly dance in this video. It's called Ori Opu in Tahitian dance. So I'm a Tahitian dancer, not professionally, but I do Tahitian dance. And this technique is also called Naoli in yoga. So it has different names. I've not on YouTube <laughs> when you use something when you misuse something people don't like it so I'll call it belly dance for the title of this video for the sake of like finding how to belly dance so if you don't follow me at all and if you don't follow me on Instagram sometimes I post stories where I dance the Haitian dance and those stories are very rare because they always are a little bit personal and uncomfortable for me. I'm not fully confident for it. So I know people like it, so I try to post it, but it's difficult for me. But every time I post it and I do Oriopu, which is what I'm going to show you right now, I have at least one person that wants to know how to do it and how to learn it. And it's been so long that I told you I will teach you and today has come. This is the day. <laughs> Now you may ask, Emily, what is the point of doing this? Uh, it's totally useless. It's very useless. It's a skill that you have or you don't have. It's a very good party trick. If you want to impress people, they're always like, what? But other than that, it's completely useless unless, of course, you're a dancer. But in that case, I don't need to teach you anything. A little disclaimer, once you'll be able to do it, it's very addictive. And I pretty much do it when I'm bored. So some people like, I don't know, bite on, the, bite on their nails. Some people do other things. I <laughs> belly dance. Actually, one thing that could be useful is that it strengthens the core. So, I mean, there's way better exercise to strengthen the core than doing this, but like it's a side effect, a positive side effect of it. There's also like a massage your intestine, although you can definitely just do it with your hands. I have learned to do this, I think in my third Tahitian dance lesson when I was young. I lived in Tahiti before. I was probably nine years old. I don't remember exactly, but I was young. And my teacher is Veira Ni. She was dancing with the Grand Ballet Tahiti, which was a huge, huge dance company. When Veira Ni taught us how to do it, I've noticed that we were about like 15 in the class and only a few of us could actually do it, not like perfectly, but could actually like understand what was going on. And so I definitely think that this requires a little bit more skills that I'm gonna go through with you. So I'm gonna try to teach you in four different steps how to master your belly dance. Hopefully I'm a good teacher and hopefully you will be a pro after this video. The first thing we're gonna learn together, step one, is to learn how to isolate your belly. So this requires a bit of body awareness in general, but like particularly on the belly. So. Okay, so I want you to stand up and stand tall. The first step, we're gonna learn to isolate the upper part the middle part and the lower part of the belly, which eventually is everything that moves. Our first exercise will be to isolate the upper part. Inhale through the nose. Imagine someone's like slicing you in half, you're doing this. So in, in. And every time you're drawing in, you're breathing through the nose. All right, lower belly. It's a little bit less visible, but I want you to feel, get it in. Again, every exhale. The last part is the middle belly. And now, right now, I can't really draw a line in my be belly, like it's very hard for me. So I tend to kind of pull everything in. All the belly gets in.
So I want you to practice this 10 times up, 10 times low, and 10 times middle. As you'll notice, the upper part is the part that's the most visible because we have a lot of muscle through the ribs, so it's really helping to pull everything in. So if you compare the lower and the middle and the upper, as you can see, I have all these muscles here that can help to draw it in. Once you've mastered 10 times each, once you've mastered this body awareness, belly awareness, we're gonna combine the up part and the down part 10 times again. So we're going up and down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Exhale. Now that you've done this 10 times, you will see it's gonna be easier to link the two up and down together, if that makes sense, which is what creates the wave. So in your mind, once you've mastered this and this, you wanna think, okay, how can I make it smooth? How can I go from one to another? Your body will take a bit of time, but it will do it kind of automatically. So up, and I think down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So as you can see, I try to make it smooth. And then as you go with time, you will be able to do it more intensely. Once you've mastered this, it's only a matter of repetition and sticking to it. You can also make sure to do it the other way. If you go a lot up to down, I want you to think of going also down to up, which is way harder for me. Now, also a really good tip that Vedani told us when she first taught us this was to lean a lot forward and to put your hands on your thigh. I don't really know how to explain this, but this is way easier if you do it leaning forward. <laughs> and then eventually you'll be able to even talk and to kind of like do anything like you can sit and do it you can eat and do it <laughs> don't eat i hope you got something out of it and i hope this really helped you out i'm gonna try to think of a hashtag that we can all use to like support one another and i'm gonna follow it on instagram on youtube if you want to share your belly dance i would love to see it remember this is a lot of muscle memory it's not really a muscle like it actually uses abs of course but it's a lot of body memory and the more you'll do it, the more your body will understand what's going on. It's normal that the first time is really hard to understand. And even for me, see, I can do it really well from the upper part to the lower part, but it's still a bit harder. I need to focus more when I do it from the lower part to the upper part. And when I also try to do it from the left to the right, which I've been trying to do. And again, I need to relearn it. So it takes time, don't worry if you don't have it perfect after this video, but if you stick to it, I want you to do these exercises 10 minutes daily until your body understands. Sometimes you can take like one day off, but I'm sure you will get there in no time. As I told you, it's highly addictive, so be careful because once you get it, you will want to do it everywhere, anywhere, in all situations. The other day I was in the metro and I was doing it and someone just caught me and I felt so bad, but it's okay. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video, even if you don't want to try it out. I hope that was entertaining, helpful. Um, let me know what you thought about it in the comments. Let me know if you want to see more like personal videos like this, where I share things that aren't necessarily linked to all the, all the other things I share usually. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up because it really helps to support my channel. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would love to see you and have you in the family so click that little subscribe button and activate notifications so you can be notified whenever i post a new video i think that's all thank you so much for watching and i wish you a lot of luck on your belly dance journey bye